Hi, I'm Dean Phelps. I'm a pastor, performer, recording artist, and I'm a Room 17 production. With her old harmonica, she stood against the wall. A silver head kept time as I would play. She took my invitation, she responded to the call. And as we shared an old refrain, I knew I had to say, Play on, Pauline, there's music in the air. Play on, Pauline song can lift the load that you bear. Let's make a new memory. Let's make people smile because you've got a song. Play on Pauline. She knows the years are rolling fog and mist into her mind. Familiar scenes will slowly fade from view. Someday friends and family might be strangers left behind. But for today, each note she plays will ring out clear and true. From this valley they say you are going. We will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our pathway a while. can weave its way into the fabric of your soul and stitch around the memories living there. The song's her chosen weapon, fending off the specter's toll. That ghost may claim tomorrow, but today won't have his share. Play on, Pauline, there's music in the air. Play on, Pauline, the song can lift the load that you bear. Let's make a new memory, let's make people smile Because you've got a song, play on Pauline Hold on to the memories, hold on to the smiles You blessed me with a song, play on Pauline Great job. You've just listened to Dean Phelps and Warren Cobb playing, what was the name of that song, Dean? It's called Play On Pauline. Okay. And we are so glad you've been able to be here with us today. You had a closing thought, I believe, or something connected to Liza's story. Well, it is. That that song is one that I wrote when I played a, a festival in Brown County. It's actually a, a woman that I met up there. I was playing on a patio and noticed this woman going through the motions like she was playing a harmonica. And so I finished the song I was playing, and I hollered back at her. I said, why don't you come up here and do that? She said, why? I said, because it would be fun. Yeah. Uh, so we did. We played a song together. And you know, I got to thinking that one of the things that, that Sarah reinforced for me is singing as a community activity, a group thing, singing together. Your story, Liza, about how music you know, brings physical healing. I'm really of the belief that a lot of the division that we see now could really be healed if we would just sing together more. Uh, there's a lot to be said for singing together and, and making music together. Well, thank you so much for those closing thoughts, Dean. And I wanted to circle back around to Whitney because I think she had something to comment about Liza's beautiful performance. I did. I have never heard that instrument before. I'm, I'm a little mind blown right now. I, I'm pray that that's what heaven sounds like. I can see how I can see how that could be so therapeutic, and I almost just want to go and learn how to play one, just so that I can like relax at home. I don't think I've ever been more relaxed. It's amazing. And, and Liza, you've mentioned before that it you felt it's a democratic um, instrument. Can you speak to that? Because I think that's a great observation. Well, I think frequently in our culture we've. Uh, We've lost the ability to, because we don't sing communally right. the way we used to. People right. would come together with church or synagogue or what have you. Or, you know, in other times when people were hoisting up the sails and they're singing songs, we don't have that kind of daily singing, which I think binds us together as a community. But it's also 
toning our own, you know, lungs and organs, you know, that all of that sound vibration is really healing ourselves on a deep level. With a monochord, um, so with that being said, uh, I think that we have a tendency to feel like, you know, music belongs to the musicians, that you have to be specialized, that you have to really know how to play. And, and what I like about this instrument, it's very calming and it's not difficult to play, it, but it still has an amazing uh, sonic effect on, on the mind and the body. So it's not difficult to play, but it's, it doesn't make it any less um, profound or important. Well, we are so thankful for all of you for being with us today. All of these wonderful Room 17 productions. And I'm going to have Dean kind of carry us out here with a little instrumental version. We started with Simple Gifts, and we're going to end with Simple Gifts. And I just have a few closing comments. Famed Kentucky writer Jesse Stewart so appropriately quoted one time is saying, I am firm in my belief that a teacher lives on and on through his students. Good teaching is forever and the teacher is immortal. Professor Emeritus Holroyd will be awarded an honorary doctoral degree from the University of Kentucky at Rupp Arena and at 93 years old she will become Dr. Sarah Holroyd to all of us. I'd like everybody to join if I say one, two, three, we love you Sarah. One, two, three, we love, we love you Sarah. Sarah. That's all for today. This is Renee Collins reminding you that when words fail, music speaks. Have a great week, everyone.